Well, hello. Today I am going to be using a different uh, makeup technique for my eye look. And I'm wanting to use peaches and cream type colors with this and have it um, very, very soft and glittery. So if that sounds like something you're interested, then please keep watching. So I am going to be using this palette today and this one is another palette that I got um, on Amazon beauty glazed color shades and it has three pages of different colors so any color you can want is probably in this book so um, I'm gonna be getting colors from this this sheet and I'm gonna start off with um, these colors to build up my transition shade. I'm gonna be using two brushes for the transition shade. This one, which is a little bit larger, and then this one, which is a little bit more pointed. And I'm going in with the lighter transition color with this one. Oh, but first what I'd like to do is go over the whole lid with just a white um, light base. And I use, because they do have um, a color in here for me to use this one, and it's matte. You can even use powder if you want. And now I'm going to go in with the transition shade. So like I said, I'm going to start it off with the softer um, color. And where I'm focusing the color on is a little bit above my crease line. So I'm not going as much into that crease. And then I'm blending out a little bit more on the side. So the shape is like this and kind of kept on the higher side. And this is just going to give it a very lifted look. And now here, since this is the softer color, the lighter color, I am going to um, really try to blend it on up to that brow bone. So that's where you do the circles. And that's where I want that gradient to be. And then I'll go in with a slightly darker transition shade. But I'm going to keep that a little bit lower. And then I take this and just go in that crease. And just little circles just to blend it all together. Now what I'm gonna do is use my concealer to do a cut crease. But I'm extending this cut crease a little bit higher than normal. So I'm just taking that and starting to put it on the lid, all over the lid. And then I'm gonna look up and see where that color kind of got up there. You want to actually take the concealer all the way up to that point. Now what I'm gonna do is use these colors on the lid. And the reason I did cut the crease is so that they really stand out a little bit more than if I if I hadn't done that. So I'm going to put this color in the very, very inner corner, transition to this, and then maybe this as well and this. We'll see how it goes, but definitely this one, this one, and then this one in the corner. And they are all shimmery.
And these eyeshadows are, again, they give so much, um, they have so much vibrancy and color to them. A lot of payout. Then I go to the next color and just start layering it over. I think I will go ahead and take that other, there's another more of a bronzy peachy color before the last one. And I'll put that right on the other half and blend that in. And then I'm going in with that final color at the very corner. I'm gonna keep it a little on the softer side, so I'm not gonna use a black. I'm gonna use a, a darker brown for my, um, to line my eye with. And so. about the middle and I had um, to do another video before this so I know I have a little bit of uh, mascara on but I'm just going over everything I had a really natural look in that video so and then just lift it and just keep it really really soft now I'm going to go ahead and take a, uh, a brown liquid liner and just very, very close to the lash line. Finish that off and just giving it a little bit of definition. Now with that second uh, transition brush, I'm going to go back in there and just go right above the cut crease part. That is where the most definition is going to be. And then go in with the first transition brush and just blend everything out. Definitely optional, but let's say you want to kick it up a notch for a much higher, um, much more glamorous look. So I'm going to take this um, gold eyeliner and I am going to trace along the line of the cut crease. And it's barely there. It just barely catches the light. All right, and so now for the um, under eye, I'm gonna take the darker transition shade, which is this one right here. And I'm gonna go along the bottom lash line. So today I am going to show you how to apply my um, false eyelashes. And so I have this little setup here where I keep my, my eyelashes on this little tray and all the things that I need here. So I need a, um, a pair of tweezers, the glue a pair of scissors and something to apply the um, the glue to the lashes and so I use a little brush like this um, and you can just get disposable little things like that and then I do use my q-tip if necessary
And so the lashes I like to use are from Kiss. And they come in these five packs. And you just pull them right off of there. Now I put mine on a little differently. I like to put them on underneath the lash line. So what I do is you want to trim your eyelashes. But one, one even better thing to do is just cut them in half. Putting on one set of lashes is going to be a little bit trickier and harder than putting on two sections. And then I just put a little pool of uh, glue there. Load up. the lash I don't know if you can see it there um, get it right on on in there just like right on the on that seam put a little bit more on like that okay. and what you want to do is then let it set for a little bit just to get tacky then what you want to do I don't curl my lashes um, some people do I don't I did find out the hard way though you really do want to put mascara on before you put your fake lashes on I just noticed this, once you learn the technique of, of, of doing your lashes this way, I actually prefer it more than just wearing, you know, mascara and crimping my lashes because it's so easy and you don't have to fuss with your lashes. But I wasn't putting mascara on my lashes and I did notice with time, my lashes seem to be getting a little bit thinner. So when taking off your lashes it's a lot it it seems to not stick as much to your um to your lashes when you apply mascara so i recommend doing that and i am just going to you don't have to be fussy about it or anything just get them get it on there Now you see why I kind of, you know, go in the back and, and do them. Because this, this can be a little persnickety. I'm not going to lie. It does take a little bit of practice. But what you're going to want to do, and another trick that you can do, is take this brush and just go and and run it along the bottoms of your lashes and so that way the glue from the lash will stick to the glue that's on there as well and you'll definitely see what works for you the more you do do this so I'm gonna start with the outer side and what you want to do is you want to lift and you want to get that end corner all the way to that end and you do not want it dragging down so I set it there and then I just tap it in with my tweezers and I'm wanting to make sure that that end part is going right along that um, cat flick if it's going past that, it's going to drag my eye down. So I take, just take an ordinary spoolie and you can kind of tap it along there. Where you're aiming for is the area 
basically the roots of your lashes. That's where you want this lash to go. So now I'm gonna take the other part and then I just take it to there. You can feel it and then you just tap and they're overlapping a little bit, but I don't care. I mean, it doesn't look bad. And then you go in and just tap it with your spoolie. Then what I like to do is take the tweezers and then squeeze at that base, being very gentle. And trust me, there will be times when you do that and you pull your eyelashes off. But by doing this, it's just adhering them all there. And I love this application. I mean, it's easier for me than putting, you know, curling my lashes and then messing with the coats of mascara. Um, it's way easier for me to put it underneath my lash line rather than on top of it. Um, I don't ever really notice it lifting or anything like that. So, so this is the technique that I use. So let me go and do the other side of my other eye as well as my eyelashes and I will be right back. All right, I'm back. So now I've got them both on. Um, I did already do my under eyes, my uh, foundation and my, um, my contour. So now I am gonna do my blush and I am going to go for a really luminous, um, uh, peach color since that's kind of the color we've got going on here. So I'm using the Milani um, Luminoso. Another thing that I do want to let you know is if you get any of the glue anywhere, just like when you've got mascara, when you get mascara on yourself, let it dry and then take a spoolie and just rub it along and it'll come right off because it's basically just like a rubber. I am not going to lie, if you get the glue into your eye, it is going to sting. It's not the end of the world, but yes, it will sting. So I am just going to I got all moved around here. like that and this look like I say I wanted it really soft and glittery and um, this would be good for a you know like a cocktail party or something like that maybe a New Year's Eve party whether you want to wear a matte foundation or a luminous one that's really up to you either way it would it would look nice and then I am going to take my highlighter. And then follow up with uh, my foundation brush just to do any blending and cleaning up. I did use the eyeshadow to go under my eyes. Now all I'm gonna do is take my bronze, which will go perfectly with these shades that I've used, and do what I normally do is just line the bottom and kind of tap. Okay. And now I am gonna go with a relatively light, um, um, very neutral, uh, nude. <clears throat> yeah. 
And then I am going to top this off with a very soft gloss. Now the final step, I am going to take this setting spray. It's from Wet n Wild. The uh, natural finish. I really like this setting spray. Just a little bit. I don't use setting sprays all the time, but every now and again. And I really do like that one, so. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, if you have any questions, especially about the um, lash application, please leave that in the comments and I will um, be happy to help you out as best I can. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe, and I hope you have a great day.